you want something new, you have to give up something old. And this is it. This is the path. This is the secret. I want you to win. You just have to do things that you never think you're going to have to do in order to, to survive. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan. My one word is believe, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message. Want it badly enough. Over to you, Dandapani. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. A good friend of mine is an Olympian who won a gold medal in uh, netball. Yeah. Beach volleyball, sorry. No, beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. And so I interviewed her in Australia a couple of months ago when we were talking about it. And I said, what drove you to win? I got metal. Yeah. She goes, I really, really wanted it. And she looked at me and said, I really wanted it. Now, I really wanted it. Yeah. And most people don't want it enough. No. Mm -hmm. You know? And people ask me, you know, it's like, how do you go to a monastery? How do you leave your family behind, your friends, everything, ice cream, chocolate, <laughs> beer, beach, you know, <laughs> girls, anything that you can imagine and go to the monastery for 10 years yeah. and no contact. Yeah. Because you want it. It just comes down to how much you really want it. Wow. Concentration, yeah. willpower, practice, yes, all those are important, those are the ingredients, but how much do you want it? If you really, really want it, you'll make it work. But most people don't want it enough. My teacher used to say to me all the time, if you want something new, you have to give up something old. Yeah. We're sitting on a couch, and if you want to bring a brand new couch in, you would have to get rid of this couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be like, I put it on top of this couch. Exactly, it doesn't <laughs> work. And sacrifice is such a good thing. You have to give up your old ways your different thing, parts of your life in order to gain something new. But you have to want it. You really, really have to want it. Most people don't want it enough. Yeah. That's why they go from one self-help book to another self-help book to another self-help book. And they say, well, you know, picking the best parts out of here and that. And it's like a buffet, you know, you yeah. go around and you just pick what you want and you never commit to anything. Find one thing, commit to it, and be an expert at it. Your actions are not matching your ambition. That's the problem. You've got big aspirations, a big mouth, big hopes, big dreams. You're talking a big game, but you're not doing the actual steps. Your calendar, what's in your calendar, your actions that you are doing on a daily basis do not map to you accomplishing your goals. And so what ends up happening is you're going to jump from one video to another video, to one seminar to another seminar, getting motivated, getting pumped up and it lasting for a couple hours and then it fading and you fall back to regular mediocrity day in, day out with these little blips, these little moments of hyperactivity and energy and momentum and then the rest flatlining. You need to learn how to schedule for success and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Step number one is make a list of all your goals. All your goals. Like what is the life that you want? What is the life that you want to be living? How do you wanna be spending your time? What are your goals? And put everything on there. And this is not just a business goal, an entrepreneurial goal. That's definitely a huge part of it. Right? What are those goals? But how, what kind of father do you want to be? What kind of mother? What kind of boyfriend, girlfriend, daughter, son? Your personal goals. How much time do you want to spend out in nature? How much time do you want to spend out traveling? Like, what are your goals? Get super clear on the life that you want to be living for you, yourself, not anybody else's opinions, judgments, expectations of what a good life, a balanced life, a proper life is supposed to look like for you. What is your life? Make a list of all the goals that you want to accomplish for yourself, that if you were living this life, you would be ecstatic. Get a little bit excited about the life you're about to build for yourself. Make a list of all your goals. Step two, what are the habits that will help you accomplish those goals? This is where people fall down. It's great to have aspirations and goals, but what are you supposed to do? What are the daily habits? If you want to accomplish some far out goal, it's going to be a collection of you getting up every day and working on that goal every day. Making sure that what is in your schedule, right? If you planned out your week, including weekends, including all your personal time, we're planning out a personal time. If you want to have a great relationship with your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, you need time to relax, you need time to play League of Legends, whatever the thing is, whatever makes you happy. Like if your life looked like this, I would be happy. And then putting in the blocks, what are the habits? And put those into your calendar. So this Monday, here's what you're going to do. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
so that by the time you end up looking at your weekly calendar, when you look at those activities, the habits you're going to be building, what you are actually going to be doing, executing on, on a daily basis, you ask yourself, here are my goals. Here's my schedules and my habits. Do they align? Do they map, right? Do my actions map to my ambitions? And if not, continue to adjust and tweak. But you need to set down on paper, in your calendar, the habits, the daily habits, that if you did this every day, it would lead to you accomplishing all of your goals. And step number three is schedule them in and do them. Like just put them in your calendar and then start doing them. Because entrepreneurs especially, we love to plan, right? We love to plan, planning so much fun. Planning a dream life is amazing. Thinking about what our life is gonna be, thinking about our goals and the world we wanna build and all of our genius products and services, it's amazing. We just bliss out thinking about what we wanna build. You gotta actually do it, right? Where too often, what happens is you create a schedule, you create a plan, and then after two days in, you're questioning the plan and you're rethinking it and you're back to strategizing, back to planning. You need to do what I call the 595 rule. 5% of your time should be on planning, should be on thinking, should be on strategizing, and 95% of your time is on doing, doing, doing the thing. And if some things don't work and you need to adjust and you need to strategize, great, the strategy is super important, the planning is super important, it's not just doing with no plan. You're not just running around like a chicken with his head cut off, you're not just doing stuff. You're doing work that is based off of your plan. But most people flip it. Most people, entrepreneurs flip it. You spend way, 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 way too much planning and not enough time actually doing. And so 95% of your time doing, 5% of your time planning. You're adjusting, you're you're tweaking, you're seeing is this schedule working for you or not? You're seeing once a quarter, once a month, does what I've lined up for me, is it actually working? Is it helping me get closer to my goals or I'm not making any progress or not? And then you tweak and adjust. But if you spent 5% of your time planning and 95% of your time actually doing, Holy cow, you would move so much closer to actually accomplishing your goals. Stop overthinking things, schedule them in and do. So that's the three step process to schedule for success. I hope you follow it. I wish you the best of luck. It works, it works. Just just try it, try it, try it for 30 days. Try it for 30 days and you will get results if you just follow the plan. I'm frustrated because I want you to win because I see so many people with massive talent play small forever, end up being an accountant or air conditioning repairman, hating their life when they have massive talent. And this is it. This is the path. This is the secret. Schedule for success. I want you to win. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're going to enjoy. But before that, question of the day, I want to know what is the single biggest change that you need to make to your schedule? Let me know. Put in the comments below. Another quick story. So I didn't have money for a car, and my, my X19 with the hole in the floorboard had died. And so I literally, the way I got my car was I saw a car that was stranded on the side of the road, this old Camaro. And I forget exactly how, but I figured out how, which bank had, had put the money up for it for somebody to buy. And I called the bank, and I said, would you let me pick up the payments on this? You know, only I need you to lower the payments down a little bit. And they said yes. So I, I had this, you know, 1980-something um, Trans Am that I was able to use. But the point being that you just have to do things you never think you're going to have to do in order to, to survive and get through it. Um, you know, th- those first couple months, I remember thinking to myself, I'm in business two months now. You know, I I remember getting to the point where I had $15,000 in sales probably six months into the company and I'm still living in the shithole and thinking, okay, I can do this, I can do this. And along the way, it was was lots of trial and error. You know, there were things that were new to me, things that were terrifying to me, things that would just, I would break out into sweat. But I always remember going into my customers and just trying to be brutally honest and say to them, if I can help you, Right? If I can bring value, if I can make your company more competitive, more profitable, will you work with me? And you don't have to put money, I'll do the work to prove it, um, and if I get it done, then we'll, you know, we'll figure it all out. You know, or they agree to a price and then they'll pay it at that point. And one by one, I just kept on making customers happy. And lost some, picked, you know, for every one I lost, picked up three. 
And I got, I was so nervous about the whole thing that, you know, I just, I couldn't imagine slowing down, you know? And so people talk about, you know, life, family, balance. I had none. I mean, I literally remember dating some girl, and this is truth. Um, and it was like, we, we'd been dating a couple years. And like, Mark, you're so into your work. I mean, I want a picket fence. I want a house. I want kids. You know, I mean, you, it's me or your job. And I was like, or me, and your, me or your company. And I was like, what's your name again? <laughs> I'm like, if you don't know me well enough by now, after <laughs> dating two years to know that I'm driven on this. I mean, there was no balance. So what advice would you have for an uh, up-and-coming screenwriter, director, producer for, like, younger generations? Run in the other direction because it's a drug. And unless you want to breathe it, live it, get rejected, uh, be, being told no constantly day in and day out, beat down to the ground, stomped, if you can take that, then go but I would say run in the opposite direction because you keep your head on. So let me give you the one word secret to happiness. One word, this is all you need to be happy. It's the most important word ever. If you had to think of one word that's most important to you or that sums you up or that would be kind of like a little beacon. If you want another amazing video highlighting excellence in the Indian community, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.